We begin with the tragic deaths of two police officers in South Simcoe near Barry. They were responding to a call last night when they were killed in the line of duty. The officers were identified by South Simcoe's acting police chief today and the community is grief stricken. We get more from Jason Guidola. It is with profound sadness that I announce the death of Constable Devin Northrup and Constable Morgan Russell. South Simcoe Acting Chief John Van Dyke says those were the two officers who were killed in the line of duty after both men attended a disturbance call at an Innisfil home last night. Words cannot describe our grief. Loved ones and colleagues of the police force mourn at the town hall this afternoon and remember the two officers. Van Dyke says the 33-year-old Northrup was in uniform for six years and was part of the mental health crisis team. Russell, 54, was on the force for 33 years. Known as Mo, his nickname. Um, we golf together in a golf league, and um, and it's a dark day, and it's going to take us a long time to process this. You know, you go on a on a call that's so simple, and two guys and Morgan. I, I can only speak for Morgan, but Morgan was a guy that that knew his stuff. The Ontario SIU is investigating and they say gunshots were exchanged between both officers and a 23 year old man inside this home on Summers Boulevard. SIU investigators at the scene, they're collecting forensic evidence, etc. That will assist us in determining the circumstances that led to the man's death. SIU spokesperson Christy Dinette says the officers responded to the home at around 8 p.m. after the man's family called for police. When they entered the residence, shots rang. As far as timing as to when it occurred, that remains under investigation. There was an exchange of gunfire between two officers and the man, and that man was pronounced deceased at the scene. Investigators say Northrop and Russell were taken to hospital where they both died. Police say they're not releasing the name of the 23-year-old, but neighbors say the man lived at the home with his grandparents. Yeah, I saw exactly what happened to the family because I was very close to them. We know them for like a long time here. Consent has to be provided by the family, and in this circumstance, the man's family has not consented to the release of his name. Uh, we have learned the identity of the 23-year-old alleged suspect. A neighbor telling CHCH News, Chris Doncaster is believed to be the man who exchanged fire with Constables Northrop and Russell. Doncaster was pronounced dead at the scene. Ontario's police watchdog says an autopsy will be conducted on Friday.